What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk to you about getting silver from pawn shops, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also make sure to subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive silver content. Link in the description. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, we got t-shirts and hoodies, a bunch of gear that's raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today I wanted to talk about something a little bit different. I've watched a couple videos recently and it was people talking about how they picked up little pieces of silver from pawn shops or why they're completely anti getting silver from pawn shops and I wanted to talk about my personal opinion on the matter and I, as always if you guys have any questions for me feel free to ask away in the comment section down below I'd be more than happy to dedicate an entire video to you and answering your question but I have been asked this question in the past as well and to be totally honest with you guys, I don't get a whole lot of silver from in-person shops or stores or anything like that. I mostly get a majority of my silver online, online precious metal dealer storefronts like Atmex, Jambolee, and all those guys. But as for pawn shops, one thing that I have noticed is they don't necessarily specialize in coins or precious metals Obviously, they have somewhat of an idea of what they're doing, but they might not provide you with all of the information that you might be looking for. For example, if you're going to sell your silver there, they might give you quite a bit under spot for it. And if you're going to buy something there, if you're going to convert your dollars into silver or maybe gold, they might have an absolutely insane premium and odds are if you're a stacker you're probably not getting a whole lot at a pawn shop anyway you might want to go in maybe ask some questions maybe like see what they have familiarize yourself with you know how much silver and gold they have or how much they get you know what their prices are stuff like that i think that's a really good idea but something that i have noticed is it's definitely not a coin shop they don't specialize in coins. They don't know a whole great deal about precious metals. They might not even know the difference between a coin and a round. So a pawn shop could be a good idea in theory. It could be a way of getting some silver. But I've noticed that pawn shops typically deal with people who are in a state of desperation. They're desperately trying to sell whatever they have and they'll take whatever they can get if you know what I mean so pawn shop workers pawn shop owners might be a little bit more used to dealing with people who are desperately trying to sell and maybe they can give you less money than you're hoping for it all comes down to the integrity of the shop and it's not just pawn shops it's coin shops it's cash for gold it's even regular stores we don't even have to talk about precious metals Something that I did try yesterday was an integrity test. I went into a pawn shop and I made a little video and I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek right here. You wanna buy one? How much is it? Okay, that's what I'm asking, he gave you money? I uh, have my own money. Huh? I have my own money. You, you're so confusing me. Why? I just came in and said you have silver bars. I know. So that was the preview of the integrity test pawn shop silver bar edition which will be airing tonight in just a couple of hours over on my second channel if you want to go give it a watch i would definitely really appreciate that but the reason i did that was because i wanted to familiarize myself with the worker or the owner of the pawn shop and I wanted to see what he was all about. I wanted to see if he would give me an actual deal. I wanted to see if he was going to try to rip me off. So pretty much, long story short, I went into the pawn shop playing a character. I went in, and the first thing I said to him was, I have no idea what the price of silver is. I have no idea what silver is all about, but I was told by my friend's fiance to pick up a little piece of silver as 
a birthday present because I'll be seeing him this weekend. That's just the story that I told the pawn shop guy. And I said, I was like, I don't know if it goes by dimensions. I don't know if it goes by size or weight or what. But I was told to just pick up some silver. What do you got? That's pretty much what I said. Now, he could have very easily come out and be like, all right, well, I got this one ounce bar. If you give me about $40, it's all yours. He could have very easily said that, and he might have actually said that. Or he might have said, I'll give you a fantastic deal. I'll give it to you for a couple cents over spot. You know? If you want to know exactly what he said, which, by the way, it ended up being a very confusing and, in retrospect now, funny video. That video will be posted on my second channel tonight in just a couple of hours, just a few hours after I'm posting this video, so please go check it out. It's going to be called the Integrity Test Pawn Shop Silver Bar Edition. I strongly recommend going to watch that video. His reaction was somewhat unbelievable. But pretty much long story short, I went in playing a character, and I did this for a very specific reason. I wanted to see if I went in playing a character that has no idea what silver and gold's all about, playing a character that's pretty much precious metal illiterate, I wanted to see if this guy was going to try to take advantage of that. I wanted to see if this guy was going to try to rip me off. I wanted to see if this guy lacked integrity. And you can understand whether or not he does by watching the video that I'm posting a little bit later. But pawn shops are a little bit iffy. I've always been a little bit iffy. I always said to myself, well, they pretty decent place to maybe sell something, but I don't know if I would ever buy something from there. Unless, of course, it was something with a high level of notoriety, like maybe one of the sunshine bars that I have in front of me, or a government-minted coin. They're, those are always okay. But I don't know if I would get like some basic generic secondary market round, something that I'm not familiar with. I don't know if I would trust that. I don't know if that's even what I would be interested in picking up anyway. But pawn shops... You have about probably a 50-50 chance. Now, I haven't been to enough pawn shops to really test this out. I would like to do more integrity test videos. Please let me know in the comment section down below if you would like to see me do that. I can go in pretty much undercover. I can go in. I could play a character, hidden mic, hidden camera, and see what these people are all about. Maybe different pawn shops, maybe even some antique shops and coin shops, anywhere that I can get silver and gold from. If you guys are interested in more videos like that, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'd be more than happy to do more of them. Today was really fun, or yesterday was really fun, the video that's posting today. I had a lot of fun with that video, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. But that's pretty much what my thoughts on pawn shops are I don't think that they are the best place to get silver from. I don't know if they're even the best place to sell, sell silver. I don't know if a vast majority of them are trustworthy. I don't know if a vast majority of them work with honor and integrity. You can always go on in and ask some questions for yourself. I mean, I strongly recommend walking in and, you know, one of the first things out of your mouth should be, What's the current spot price? If you say that, then at least you can let the guy or the girl over the counter know that you have at least somewhat of an idea of what you're talking about. But that's just my opinion. Nothing I say in my videos is financial advice because I am not a financial advisor. I'm not a precious metal expert, professional, or specialist. On I am absolutely not a psychic. I can't tell you what silver's going to do today, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, or any time in the future. It's all speculation. So make sure you're doing your own research and you come up with your own decisions based off of your own findings. But with all that being said, those are my thoughts on pawn shops. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe for new videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also, make sure to subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive precious metal content. Posted three new silver and gold themed vlog style videos over there. And don't forget the brand new integrity test video is dropping tonight.
Link in the description. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, we got t-shirts and hoodies, a bunch of gear that's raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merch can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments, how do you feel about converting your dollars into silver or gold via a pawn shop? Is it something you have done in the past and you would refuse to do it again in the future? Is it something that you do maybe on a regular basis? Are you open-minded to it? Would you like to see some more integrity test videos? Maybe we can, you know, dig something up and figure out if local coin shops and antique shops and pawn shops are really the safest way to go when it comes to precious metals. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.